So I'm going to get straight into today's video because I appreciate that all my videos are longer than the Bible. So we're going to try and be quick today. Um, as many of you know, if you've seen any of my videos before, and I can, guys, can I just say now, like, I have a sweaty upper lip going on. I am hot. It is hot today. So I'm sat here with my hair down, which is probably a bad show. I'm contemplating putting it up. Do I put it up or is it going to look a complete mess? I think I'm going to have to put it up. I'm going to put it up. Okay, bear with me, guys, because I'm just going to get a little hair bobble. All two that are tied together. Okay, we're going there. That's all right. Yeah, so basically, it's freaking hot here today. I'm in the UK, obviously. Obviously, Freya. Well done. Um, but it is really, really, really hot. So if I'm sweaty, I'm going to apologise, but I can't help perspiring. So there we go. Okay, so as I was saying, if any of you have watched my videos, you will know that I am obsessed with Technic. I love their products and I think they're so cheap, so affordable. Uh, my only downside with Technic is it's hard to find where to pick them up. But if you do search online, it will give you a list of where they're available. So it just depends if you have that shop in your city. Um, so I've done a video on their Colour Max lipsticks, which can we just take a minute? I am beyond obsessed with. They are still, to this day now, my favourite lipsticks I've found. Just for the smell, the colour, the packaging, the price... The longevity of the product, it wears so well. Uh, the colour range, really nice. Got something to suit everybody. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm going to go in and talk about a few more of their products just because I'm obsessed. So, I'm going to actually start off with the Colour Max lipsticks, which, as you will know, I'm obsessed with. I've got a lot more now. I think I've got about 10, maybe. Maybe about 10, 11. So, I'm going to show you four more of their shades. I can't actually remember what I have showed you. Let me just wipe the tash and also guys i've got paint all over me and it's gloss so i do bath i just can't get it off anyway so these are four more of their shades i've tried to pick colors that all kind of fit like a dark nudie kind of shade anyway so we have four here and can i just say technic my only oh there goes the lid okay technic my only only thing with these is it's there's no shade chart anywhere so I don't know, I want to own the whole collection because I'm obsessed and I I just love them so much. I want to own the whole shade range and I don't even know how big that is or how small it is. I just don't know and I really want to know. And also, I think this, again, I'm getting my business head on a bit here. I think these would have sold really well as a part of a pack. So you knew if you had the whole collection. So maybe a warm nudes, cool, cool nudes, pinks deep purples i don't know maybe packaging them in a way even in a set of four they're actually marketed at uh 99 pence but even a fiver for the four that would have been a good deal box but obviously i know packaging's another expense but i just think that'd have been an easy way to keep track of um what ones you had and like i said i'm not a business guru i'm not a uh, beauty guru either i just like makeup um but from as a big company, I can imagine that customer feedback is important. So that would be my only point with these. Otherwise, oh my God, they are beautiful. So I'm going to show you these shades. I'll swatch them for you now. As I say, please excuse the paint all over me. So this one here is a really dark shade. This is called Oh Madame. Oh Madame, I think. I don't speak French, but that's what I'm uh, guessing it at. So this one, I don't even think I've used this one. And this is a really kind of dark, I hope you guys can see, this is a really kind of dark, plummy, deep, rich purple kind of shade. This is something that will definitely look beautiful on people with darker skin tones. Although I'm not, I don't really mind, I'm whiter than the Milk Bar Kid and I'd still wear it. So let's just swatch this for you now. So as you can see, firstly, pigment. I mean, I'm sorry. Well, I'm not sorry because the 99p's are going to get some. But this is, oh my God, it's beautiful. 
the pigment is beyond a dream the coverage and it the consistency is beautiful there's no tackiness it doesn't smudge and you just don't get left with patches it's very very even and i'm actually loving this lip color with the smoky eye and really bronze skin that would look beautiful so the next one i'm going to show you is be my baby i'm sure i've shown you this have I? I don't know. I'm going to show you again because I love it. And as you can see, this has definitely had its wear. The top colour looks slightly lighter just because I have used it. But as you can see, it's kind of really warm, um, red toned, very autumn colour. These are both quite autumn colours, actually, which is a fabulous timing considering this is the summer. But there we go. Um, so this one, again, is a beautiful and I have red hair. You can't really tell because it needs doing again. But this is definitely one I love because of my hair. And as you can see there, it is, well, I mean, I'll let the, I'll let the lipstick do the talking because, I mean, come on. These are 99p. And if you haven't watched my other video, let me just tell you that firstly, look at the packaging. So nice. And secondly, they all smell like sweets. Like I'm deadly serious. This smells like a sweet shop. Oh, they smell beautiful and edible. I think if they'd have marketed it as a kind of sweet treat collection, that might have sold them even more as well because you genuinely could because the smells are that good. Okay, so the next one here is Love Yourself, which, love yourself, honeys, because if you don't love yourself, how in the hell are you going to love anybody else? Freya, did you really just quote RuPaul? I did. So there we go. Oh, that's gone over my vein, so that's a bit bumpy there. Okay, that payoff isn't quite as nice as the others, which is unusual because I, hang on, I want to show you guys properly because they are really nice. Oh, that one doesn't show up as nicely, but again, it is a really nice lipstick and you can build it and it's 99p, so enough said on that one. Okay, the next one I've got here is Rumour Has It, which I've probably shown you as well. But I'm going to show you again. So this is a really pale pink nude. It's actually a really beautiful colour. What I like about their colours is they're not they're not just a base colour. They're not a red, a purple. They've got kind of really lovely undertones. This is probably a bit too light for me. Probably. But I still would wear it. Because I am obsessed with these. So let's give you a foot of that. That's definitely way too light for my... Mm, I might be able to pull that off, but it's a bit too light for my skin tone. Um, the type of nude is slightly too light for me, but don't you love how it's kind of got this... this? Sorry, I'm looking in the mirror behind you if you keep seeing me looking. Um, it's just... I mean, just look at it. I mean, the coverage is beautiful. The colour is beautiful. My hand smells fantastic. And guys, I just cannot rave on to you enough about these. I mean, I know what I do keep going on, but... The thing is with me, if I find a bargain product that it really is good quality, I mean, these aren't asking. You could ask £20 for these lipstick. I'd, I would still pay it. I would still pay it. I mean, yes, it would take away from the bargain side of it, but I would pay it because they are they are the best lipsticks I own. Should we show you another one? Let me show you another one. I've got so many, but I'm obsessed with them. So uh, this one here is Matte Coral which I think is a bit more pink than coral, but this is a really beautiful tone. Uh, let me just swatch that one for you there. Oh, God, I'm going to snap my lipstick having it rolled up that high. <gasps> I broke it. Oh, shit, the bed. Sorry. Sorry, I shouldn't be swearing. Okay, so this is a really, really nice, bright, pinky. It's definitely more pink than coral, but I can see the kind of corally undertone. And then we have, what's this one? Nude which I think I've definitely talked about this one before because it's called Nude and it's definitely a hot pink. So I've slightly confused their technique, but still, nonetheless, I'm obsessed. And that is definitely more pink there. But look, guys, I'm just saying, they're 99p. They're nicely packaged. They smell edible. So don't eat them because they're not edible, but they smell like they should be. And basically, they're absolutely a bomb. So that's what I've got to say about that. The next product I've got here from Technic is their Colour Fix Correcting Primer Base. And this is uh, oil-free, soothing, um, serum that combats dull skin, including vitamin E and aloe vera, which you both you both know yeah for the two of you watching you both know <laughs> but which we all know is like fab for your skin so firstly what i want to talk about is 
Let's just check out the colour. Oh my god. I'm not going to show you on that finger because I've got a curtain that looks so scabby. But basically, it's literally purple. And I can't describe the smell. Like, this doesn't smell like anything. It smells kind of clinical, but I love it. I just love the smell. I don't know what it is. So basically, it's purple and it's meant to colour correct. So I'm just going to show you on my veins because I do truly believe this helps. It just kind of excuse the paint again, as I said. It is so soothing, so lightweight, but still really, really, it just works. Like, oh, I've done lipsticks on my other hand, so you can't really see, but I hope you can see a bit of a difference. It just gives you a really kind of flat base to work on. And, oh, I love the smell. It's just so good. It's so soft. And that is a really big tube, and I'm sure it's like two pounds. So... I love this and it definitely does brighten your skin and just make you look healthy so I love that um the next thing I'm going to talk about here I have uh done a video on Instagram for this one this is their glitter me up lip gloss topper and I don't know if I included this in the other, other video but I found a new way to use it so I thought I'd update you so as I say this is a lip topper so what I'm actually going to do first of all is just top these swatches now I will say I'll oh, make sure you give it a shake for her but I will say this is slightly chunky and actually as a lip topper it's lovely but it doesn't quite let me just show you on top of this one it just on this one here it just gives you that little bit of a sheen the glitter bits are slightly chunky for a lip topper but it still does work and I'm sure it's 99p so you know what I'm saying let's put it on your lips for her. Now you can see once you rub it in, it isn't that bright, it isn't like, you know, silver in your face, but it just gives you that kind of look. Um, but what I wanted to tell you guys is actually this is so versatile, like, I did a pink smoky eye and I really wanted to draw some drama to the inner corners, obviously I highlighted, um, but getting glitter to stay on your face, unless you're using a glitter glue, is actually really hard and it doesn't last, but what I love to do with this and look at the tube size can I just say is I just as I've done my makeup if I want glitter I'll just kind of cut my crease out with this and really dot it in the inner corner wait for it to dry down slightly and put my glitter straight on top and it lasts so much longer so that's a really good tip with that one and I'm obsessed the next thing I want to talk about oh I don't think I've spoke about this I hope I haven't because it needs speaking about because it's gorgeous this is a Technic glitter liner that's all it says and this is in the colour bronze now i'm sure they've got more of these i'm sure they've got a kind of funfetti color i'm sure they've got a blue and i have to get them because i am freaking obsessed i love these now what i will say is the applicator isn't the thinnest so you have to have pretty steady hand and also when this goes on it's kind of a gel with glitter in it's not glitter all the way but the finish this is my favorite glitter liner like it just shines like I hope you got, I don't know if you guys can see that, I can't see. But it is beautiful. And what I like to do with this, I should have shook it again. What I like to do with this is once I've done my eye makeup, so I'm doing really smoking it out, I'll smoke out the edges. And then what I'll do is I'll cut my crease out with this, kind of about halfway cut crease. And then I will then pack on the gold glitter, so that works so nicely. And also what you can do with these, which looks lovely, is do your black eyeliner and then just kind of go across the top of your black eyeliner, not on top of it, above it, and just kind of really put a gold, kind of thin gold layer on, and it just brings some more drama to your face. So that is kind of it for today, guys. I just really think these products and this company is talking about more. Because as I say, it's great value and I mean, look at the products. Like they speak for themselves, they're fantastic. So yes, I absolutely love them. And I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Um, I'm gonna just apologize for the sweaty face and the hair. But if you have enjoyed this, guys, please give it the thumbs up, it means a lot. And uh, feel free to subscribe and turn the notifications on if you wanna be notified every time I do a new video. So guys, I hope you all have a lovely day and thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye. The world don't matter, your problem don't matter. Cause we gon' get dumb, 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 dumb data. Aye.